Hey everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. Astronomers working under the auspices of France's National Center for Scientific Research have taken the first measurements of the cosmic fog. The cosmic fog is the diffusion of light that fills the universe. It consists of photons emitted from stars since the beginning of the universe. Measuring it, which researchers accomplish by observing gamma rays emitted from distant galaxies, allows astronomers to estimate the intensity of the light contained within the universe at wavelengths across the electromagnetic spectrum. Studying the cosmic fog could teach us more about the first stars and allow our current models of stellar formation and cosmic evolution to be adjusted to more accurately describe both the early development of the universe and the size and state of the universe right now. How about this? Scientists at Cambridge University have confirmed the presence of four-stranded DNA in human cells for the first time. DNA is most familiar to us in a double helix structure, but it can also form what's called a G quadruplex. This structure tends to form in DNA with a substantial amount of guanine present. Guanine, you'll remember from first year biology, being one of the four bases of DNA, along with adenine, cytosine, and thymine. G quadruplex structures have been made in test tubes and observed in microscopic organisms, but this Cambridge study is the first time they've been detected in human cells. Why is this important beyond being a cool science fact? The G quadruplex seems to be most common during the S phase of a cell, when DNA is being replicated prior to cell division, which means that the G quadruplex is of special interest to researchers looking for ways to identify and block the out-of-control cell division that lies at the root of cancer. Finally, Master of Physics students at the University of Leicester have calculated what the view through the forward window of the Millennium Falcon would actually look like if faster than light travel were possible. That image of stretched out stars streaking past, familiar to us from Star Wars and Star Trek, doesn't reflect reality, it turns out. Who would have thought? The students calculated that the light from stars straight ahead would be blue shifted out of the visible spectrum, and in fact the only light visible when looking straight ahead traveling at that speed would be a glowing disk of light right in the center of your field of vision. The cosmic microwave background radiation shifted into the visible spectrum. It would look something like this. The students also found that X-rays from stars would cause the ship to slow down if not constantly counteracted, suggesting that Han Solo's fuel bill must be truly astronomical. No wonder he can never afford to pay anyone. Astronomers measure the cosmic fog for the first time, quadruple helix DNA may be a key target for future cancer treatments, and some English physics students calculate what hyperspace really looks like. That's the good news.